you guys that my sink is pretty grubby today so I'm gonna attempt to give it a good old clean and I'm gonna be using today this called the pink stuff um, my daughter put me onto this actually she said it's really good so I usually use just flash and maybe some bleach or something but I want to get it this sort of really sparkly and then I've got another product that I'm gonna use after it as well which I'll show you in a second um, but yeah I'm gonna try this so let's do this you put some onto a sponge let's get in there Hoovering. Let's get this job done. Just wanted to show you this project that I'm going to be next doing. Um, I've been growing some of my own veg this summer and I've been growing some gherkins and I plan to be pickling them. And these are the jars that I picked up yesterday. These are the lids. I'm going there like that. I'm going to go like that. And you use distilled vinegar. And I've got some herbs and some spices to go in with it. So yeah, we love pickles. And pickles are really good for your gut, as you know. So yeah, we're going to be doing that. Okay, now, just on to making my latish breakfast and I'm going to be putting all these ingredients together into that bowl a nice cup of tea and then chillax for a little while for my next part of the day
show you our local Weatherspoons pub, how it's changed quite a lot. We now have screens in between all the booths and they put more seating outside and all the doors and that have got to be kept open at all times. Just on a late evening cycle. Belong to an RAF base. You can see the old concrete road standing, so if you call it. What? Oh! Oh, I missed it. Just milk, missed an elk. Oh well. <laughs>
volteeing the impact as well.
so this is uh, Monday now. Um, today, I'm not doing much at all, just doing my washing. And I'm going to be cooking a vegetable coconut curry today. Um, there's all the bits I'm doing. There's a garlic, ginger, onion, chilli. These are the vegetables I'm putting in. I've got to pick some more courgettes from the garden. I might throw in some peas and I'm going to put chickpeas in it as well. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've now chopped up my garlic, my ginger, my onions. That's one onion. Uh, one red chilli. That's about um, five to six cloves out. I like garlic a lot. And that's like a, a two inch cube of ginger. And I've got coriander out ready. And this is the veg that I'm going to be using today. I've got some homegrown courgettes, broccoli, carrots, baby potatoes, French beans. And that's gonna go in my curry with some chickpeas. And on the side, I've made a side dish as well. I've put in there some gram flour. It's this flour here. Or chickpea flour, some people call it. And in that flour, whilst, whilst it was in the bowl on its own, I put in some uh, seasoning like salt, pepper. I put in some coriander, some cumin. And what else did I put in there? Yeah, I think it was just that. Oh, and some turmeric, that's it. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, give it a bit of color. And again, because I'm getting a glut of courgettes at the moment, I've taken some of the courgettes and I've grated them up. Like one small one there and a little bit of onion as well. And when the time comes to go cooking it later, because it's just prepped up, I'm going to add some water to it to get like a really thick batter and I'll be frying those. So they're a bit like courgette and onion bargees. So hopefully they'll taste nice. Okay, I'm gonna start on the curry now. Just put some olive oil in there, juice sunflower oil or maybe seed, coconut even. in the onion and we're going to fry that off until it's like a golden brown colour. Um, a lot of people don't bother doing this step I've noticed when I watch like some YouTube videos but I just don't like the, the sort of taste it gives. I feel that you have to cook the onion to get the flavour to come out which goes into the sauce so I would always suggest to cook your onions thoroughly so yeah cook them until they're a light golden brown. Now the onions have gone golden brown, I've just put in the garlic and the ginger and cook that off for one to two minutes. Once the garlic and chilli has been in for one to two minutes, you put in now half a teaspoon of turmeric, uh, sorry, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of cumin and two tablespoons full of um, either mild or medium curry powder and just stir that through the onions and cook it off again for one to two minutes. So at this point now I've put in the uh, chopped up um, red chilli after cooking off the spices and now I'm next going to add the tomatoes. I've chopped up, I've, I'm using fresh tomatoes today, I've chopped up three large tomatoes. Um, you can use like one 300 or 400 gram of chopped tomatoes uh, if you haven't got any fresh. And this part is quite crucial to the sauce. You must cook these tomatoes down so they go like a light browny red colour because um, otherwise your tomatoes are going to be undercooked. So it takes about eight to ten minutes to get to that point. Okay, this has been cooking now. Ooh, excuse that. This has been cooking now for about eight to nine minutes, and as you can see. It's gone like a reddy brown colour and that's the colour you want to be looking for. So it's now at this point that I'm going to add some water to it and some stock, um, a stock cube. Some people don't add stock cubes. I like to add a stock cube because it adds another layer of flavour into it. So, and I'd say probably about 400 mils of water with a stock cube, a vegetable stock cube. Okay, I've had it, added it in some water. And the stock cube. I'm going to bring that to the boil. Just so it's all well incorporated. And after that's come to the boil, what I'm going to do is add all the chopped up vegetables 
plus the chickpeas. Oh no, actually no. Now it's come to the boil, I'm going to add in the coconut milk and it's about 150 to 160 ml of coconut milk I put in at this point here. Just pour that in and let's stir it and it changes the colour instantly. You can see it's like very light, creamy, ready colour. What we do here now, I like to let this um, just cook down for about five or ten minutes, then I, I'll add the veg and the chickpeas. Okay, I've now been cooking this down for about five or six minutes um, just to get some of the excess water out of it, and it's starting to turn quite thick now. And it's at this point that I want to put in my vegetables. Um, what I'm putting in, I'll go over it again some broccoli, green beans, potatoes, carrots, some courgettes. I've got some sweet corn I'm going to put in, um, a can of chickpeas which is about 240 grams um, drained and I'm going to put in some frozen spinach. Just put the whole lot into a pot and now I'll just stir it. So all the sauce is covering the vegetables. lovely now it's all in. What I'll do now, I'll put the lid on it and I'll cook it for roughly about 15 minutes. Um, try not to overcook your veg because it just tastes nasty. So about 15 minutes. Okay, I've been now cooking it for 15, 20 minutes and it's done. At this point you can if you want add some more coconut milk um, if you want a bit more sauce. Sometimes I do that um, if the vegetables don't release as much water as you thought they originally would. And yeah, and what I'll do, I'll just leave that on the side now for the next hour until it's dinner time. And then when I heat it up, I'll throw in some coriander at the end and serve it with some basmati rice. And sometimes I make naan bread myself, but um, I'm going to be making this on the side of it. Um, some courgettes and onion bhajis. Anyway, try the recipe out. Let me know if you do anything different or any tweaks that you've got. What's your curry like, your vegetable curry? Um, or if you do cook this, let me know how you found it. Anyway, thank you. Bye.